Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the Lord, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and I say shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of this uh, recent news article from the Jerusalem Post that I'm about to bring out and read as well too and this is the book of luke chapter 21 verse 11 and it reads and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilence and dreadful sights and great signs shall that be from heaven and this is a uh, news article uh from the jerusalem post by Reuters, published august the 28th 2023 and it reads Mag magnitude of a 5.5 earthquake struck columbia an earthquake of a magnitude of a 5.5 struck Colombia on Sunday, the German research after, I mean the uh, German Research Center for Geoscience, the GFC, says the quake was at a depth of 10 kilometers and sent uh, 6.21 miles, the GEFC says. As I read that again. It's the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 11, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall that be from heaven. So with that, this was just a, a quick sit-down lesson of this recent earthquake over there in Colombia, and it was a magnitude of a 5.5. As of August the 28th, 2023, by Reuters from the JerusalemPost.com. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory not only to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, and Karkadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.